What's up, everybody? My name is Walid. I'm going to go through questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram account up here called How to Photograph. And these are questions that are going to help you no matter what kind of photographer you are. They're kind of across the board. So hang out, listen to the questions. And if you guys have questions on your own, you can ask them in the comments and I will respond back as soon as I can. All right. So the first question, any key tricks? for a beginner photographer. So um, I'll give you two right off the bat because I know there's a lot of new photographers. I wanna see if I can help them. Number one, your instincts are your best tool. It's not your camera, it's not your lens, it's not your light or your damn tripod or anything. It's your instincts. If you get this gut feeling that says, get this job or say no to this client, listen to them and you will not regret it. Point number two is you can always look into the eyes of the model and you can see what kind of lighting is the key light that they've used. And you might also even get a secondary clue like was there a bounce? Was there a secondary light? So learn to go into the stores and look at the ads that you see in the makeup campaigns and at the Mac counter and just anywhere okay look right into the eyes and you can see how they got that light how they got that shadow um what light they used so i hope that that helps you good question number two what is the best camera and the best model to use for beginner photographers here's a question that i'm going to answer and here's an answer that you may not like but hang out anyways it does not matter what camera you got what lens you got what tripod or anything I know that's not the answer you want, but I'm only interested in giving you the truth. People will hire you for you, your vision, how you execute the vision. Are you under budget? How did you make people feel on set? So nobody gives a damn about your camera. But if you're asking me a good beginner camera, I would say purchase used. Whenever somebody releases a new camera, let's say um, Canon released a new camera, um, they have the EOS R, jump and get a used 5D Mark III or Mark IV, but I prefer you get the Mark III, which I think was a better camera than the IV. So go used, work that camera to death, and then upgrade if you have to. By the way, I shoot magazine covers, CD covers, um, all kinds of big campaigns on a 5D Mark II. So brands don't matter, models don't matter. Okay. 128 Vision says, can I still charge from clients I've never worked with if I was the one reaching them? Not sure I understand this question entirely, but I'm going to answer the question that I think you asked, which is, um, if you reach to a, if you reached out to a client, can you still charge them? Yeah, of course you can. Um, I advise if you're going to reach out to clients that I advise that you reach out to them because you want to build your portfolio and you want to build that. So it shows that you're a master in something and not the jack of all trades. But if you do that, you can also say you're getting a certain number of images from me, anything there and after is going to be this amount. So yes, you can charge them and I advise you to charge them and I advise you not to give the whole farm away for free because your respect to them is going to be down here instead of up here. All right. Good question. Could you make workshops about light settings and about colors and editing, please? Um, Alice, I absolutely can, but actually there's a program that I have called Photo Mentor, which is a monthly subscription for photographers. Every single month, you're getting a new workshop, then you're learning how to sell that, and you're getting a private community on Facebook. So everybody is learning the same thing, everyone has the same questions, and I also jump on about once a week on Photo Mentor. It's called Office Hours. Whatever questions you have about your business, your pricing, your clients, your lighting, your retouching, your portfolio, everything around you, I answer it right there live in the private Facebook group. All right. So if you're interested in that, you guys can click the link down below in the description. It costs about, let's just say, a few cups of coffee a week. That's it. It's the best investment you can make for your career. And this is a question that everybody has. Um, I'm going to give you three quick tips on it. Number one, you want to be the master, not the jack of all trades. I don't care what anybody says. Jack of all trades does not get the respect they deserve. They don't get the money they deserve. They don't get the promotion they, don't, they deserve. They don't get the bragging rights they deserve. The master is the one that you want to go after. So learn to niche down on your style and be the master. And I want to say two styles for you instead of one. Okay. Number two tip that I want to tell you on how to find clients is find your ideal client avatar. If you find your ideal client avatar, 
You know where they are. You know where they, uh, what they read, what they watch, where they shop, what brands they love. You know where to go and put all of your efforts there. So what you are finding is actually the bullseye of your um, business. The bullseye. That's all that you want to point at. That's all you want to aim for. If you are interested in finding your ideal client avatar, that link is also in the description in this video. So I want to help you guys out and you're going to get a free template so you can find your ideal client avatar. Such a good question. Such a real question. Here's the thing. Okay. Um, I don't think that you should ever quit your day job if you are trying to start a photography business. That's actually very, very irresponsible. So for if you're making this much money on your day job, and your photography career is coming up here and it's coming up here. You're getting tired because you're doing this every day and you're building this to come up higher, 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 higher. Still keep this job. Keep this job. Keep this job. Now you're working so hard and you're so stressed out. You've got two incomes coming in this much. Still don't quit this. Make sure that this new photography income has been consistent. So you didn't just get a low month, low month, a super high month, and then you drop back down to a low month. Don't lose this, this nest egg here. Okay. So make sure that this income from your hobby has consistently come at or higher than your day job for three months in a row. If you do two months and it falls back down, keep the day job. Month one, month two, month three, now you can start considering getting rid of the day job. All right. You guys like the hand diagrams. That's the only time that you should drop your day job and go, okay, now it's safe. Which Canon camera is used in the photo shoot you just did. I use the 5D Mark II and um, I did not want to buy the three. I didn't think it was worth it. Four is a joke. Um, EOS R I really, really wanted to purchase, but then I heard that Canon might be coming out with a new camera. So, I will be waiting until March or April to see what they got. And I hope that my camera stays alive until then. So 5D Mark II, and I was using a Tokina lens, F2.8 24-70. Good lens. What do you use to edit your photos? So generally, now sometimes I do have some apps that I, I will use. Afterlight is probably the best one that I use or the one that I use the most. But true professional photography, I will do as much of it as I can in camera. OK, then I take that and I put it into Lightroom. Lightroom is about 80, 85, maybe, maybe, maybe 90 percent of the work. Then I take the final 10 percent, 15 percent, and I go into Photoshop and I give it a tiny bit of finesse. And that is it. OK, so it's really the bulk of my work is in Lightroom. But I am looking into replacing Adobe entirely just because I don't think that they are really as interested in helping photographers in the creative community as they used to be. And I think it's more about money, money, money. We all love money. We all want money. But at some point, I think you're taking advantage. And I think that they have now crossed over the line and marked this moment as the moment Adobe decides to not sponsor my channel. Whatever. Um, take this item. It could be an Apple. It could be your wallet. It could be... Um, a memory card it could be anything but take this and put it underneath a certain light and take a picture and make sure that the contrast and the um the depth of field and the exposure and everything is accurate the way your eye sees it okay then go take this and put it in front of a different kind of light and then go do the same thing and reverse engineer and say okay wait a minute if this is showing to be very very warm how do i cool it down um, cause it's a whole different light. It's a tungsten light or it's candle light. Oh, I know. Maybe I'll go into the Kelvins and bring down the temperature to counterbalance the light that is available. Okay. Then go take it in direct sunlight. Then go put it in the fridge. Then go put it in front of the, your car headlights. Then go put it underneath fluorescent lights and go all around your house and start putting this, the same item and keep going. And each time you're going to sit there and go, this picture is off. Why is it off? And you start going down your checklist before you know it you're like that you're super fast okay on lighting and settings and everything that's how i learned my camera settings love your question that is all you guys thank you so much for asking the questions if you have questions on your own about your photography your business your pricing your lighting whatever it is 
put them down there in the comments. I am going to compile all of those. I'll make another one of these videos and put your questions down below and then I will answer them for you. Thank you so much. If this helps you, if you want to learn more about photography, you want to learn more about how to make money from photography, how to grow your business, click the subscribe button down there. Hit the bell. Click the like because YouTube makes us beg for that stuff. And leave a comment down below because I read them and I respond to them. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.